Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Monaco. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribe to on the channel. It is always appreciated. And a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website as well as over on Patreon. Thank you for your continuous support, my loves. So I have opened up my Patreon for enrollment for those of you all who missed enrollment onto my website. Um, enrollment closes in seven days. So if you are interested in getting content from the Butterfly School of Transformation, you must enroll into the Patreon tier by next Sunday on the 14th. And then it will be closed off until March. So this is your last opportunity, my loves. So we are getting into, at this time, a grandmother ancestor message. And as I was meditating on you all's grandmother's energy, um, the first thing I was hearing was a saying, um, one monkey don't stop the show. One monkey don't stop the show. And I had to sit and meditate on like, okay, what does that mean? Because after that, I heard what you eat don't make them poop. And it's giving this energy of like metaphor of, one person doesn't have to stop the plan of something. It may have been something that happened around the holiday season. Um, some type of disagreement or something that happened with a family member, a loved one, a friend, a job. And someone is like kind of against something that like the group wanted to do. So like the group may have wanted to do something and one person may have been against that thing that the group wanted to do. Um, and they may have been causing some type of fuss, some type of, you know, irritation and the fuss in regards to them not wanting to connect with something or do something. Because now I'm visualizing like a court case, a court system where, um, say if it's like a jury trial and one person goes against everyone else, but it's just like, uh, uh they have what, 12 jurors, 13 jurors, everyone else did. And it didn't need to be a unanimous case type thing right so that one person going against it doesn't change anything because the majority still ruled in another way uh, the majority still ruled in another direction some form of way um, we have the magician energy at the bottom of the deck um it could even be that someone in your space like that one monkey um in your life they're trying to convince or change something or manipulate the energy of a space to make you feel bad about something or make you feel bad for wanting to side with something. Cause I feel like you're siding with the majority of the energy, but then like, cause now I'm hearing what one or two rotten bad apples or something. I don't know. Did y'all grandmama say something like that? Cause I'm hearing a rotten apple, something of that nature. Um, someone may be rotten on the inside, like an apple. And it's like, they want their apple to, come in and like mess up everyone else's apples. You know what I'm saying? Like mess up everyone else's fun. You know, it's like, say you're planning a group trip or something and this one person, um, they want to make a big spectacle of like why they're not going on the trip or why they don't, why they are, you know what I'm saying? All this energy and it's just like, baby, you don't stop this show of us going on this trip just because you don't want to do it, just because you don't like it. You know, it gives that vibe of like someone trying to make a spectacle out of something because they're in the, they're not in the majority, you know, but like in the energy of it's, what it's saying, I guess even in the same way of what you eat, don't make them poop, but what they eat, don't make you poop. So sometimes you just have to allow people to disagree. Okay. And you don't need to have their approval for that, okay? You don't need to have their approval for it. My foot literally just started itching and I just heard something about these boots are made for walking. What is that? These boots are made for walking, something for walking. I don't know, I don't know. All right, grandmother energy, what do you have for your collectives? Let me clear out this energy some more, and then we're going to pull some cards. We're going to clear the energy first. I hope everyone is doing well on this day. Whenever you listen to this reading, may it find you in good spirits. And if you weren't in good spirits before you found it, that you feel more in good spirits once you finish listening to it, okay? 
I hope you all are doing very well, my loves. Yeah, because now I'm hearing that song. I just hope you know that, that it gets better with time. Yeah, something is going to be getting better with time, your grandmother wants you to know. So, just because someone doesn't want to go on this trip with you and your group or like these family decisions or something of that nature, you know, um, it could even be like if you're on the board of something, I'm seeing like a board, an executive board or something voting for something. And one person, you know, well, that doesn't work for me because that and they're trying to make a big spectacle of it. But it's really not as big as what they want it to seem. It's like someone wants their feelings to appear to be more important than what they really are, I guess you could say, in a setting where it's like they really don't matter. We have the energy is gaining momentum with the waxing moon. So after the new moon on the 11th, um, in that waxing energy for like seven days after that, this is going to be made clear to you because I see three birds that are prominent on here. Three is a number of communication, um, as well as perception of energy or information. So, um, the perception of things are going to be made clear for you. Okay. Which deck do I want to go to? Grandmother, which deck? We're going to go to this deck. I just hope you know that, that it gets better with time. And I'm going to let grandmother energy pick out. What is this energy um, for your babies on a spiritual level? What is this energy for your babies on a spiritual level? I just hope you know that, that it gets better with time. Someone wants you to feel like something is going to be forever, but it's not. It's like their feelings in the situation is not going to matter as much in the long run. It's like eventually they're going to be a figment of like an imagination. So you have the high priestess coming out for the spiritual. When I ask the grandmother energy, what does this mean in the spiritual context for you? And you're gaining new insights. You're gaining information into truth. You're gaining information into like others around you, you know, um, you have an understanding or sight of something that not everyone is able to tap into. And if you look at this, a lot of purple, purple energy is very spiritual. It's very royal. Okay. It's very royal. So it could be that you walk with royalty or as royalty and like a common person wouldn't understand. So back to the saying of what grandmother had said on what you eat don't make someone else poop. Same thing for them. What they eat don't make you make you poop. So they may be eating cheap stuff. So it's messing up their digestive system and everything else. You don't have to worry about it. It's not your business. You don't have to worry about it, you know, and same thing, you know, on the other way around. Now, let's read it from the book. It could be the traits of slowing down and using your intuition. A woman is submerged in a body of water, embracing all beneath the surface. She is the bridge and connector between the seen and unseen, conscious and subconscious. We've been talking a lot about the subconscious energy here on the channel um, a lot and in my Butterfly School of Transformation, the light and the shadow. The pomegranates, the original forbidden fruit around her symbolize the secret she hold, rebirth and fertility. The two halves of the pomegranate reminds us to balance all parts of ourselves, heart, mind, body, and spirit. The high priestess is the protector of the unconscious, reminding us to retreat and reflect. She invites us to the dream realm while, we also, while also giving us access to earthly wisdom. She encourages us to find the equilibrium between opposites, like the cycles of the seasons or the sun and the moon. The high priestess is the moon in all its phases. So the questions that come with it. Ask yourself, what do you need to allow yourself to feel rather than to think about? And you can answer them down below. These can be the questions versus me pulling a card. Um, these could be the questions. 
So what do you need to allow yourself to feel rather than think about? What is your understanding and relationship to intuition and the unseen? Are you paying attention to your dreams and your intuition? It deals with having a thirst for sacred knowledge, utilizing your creativity, using common sense and wisdom, understanding duality, and being divine energy. Vibe with positive people. So at this time of your life, you don't have time to be around individuals who just want to see the negatives of things, the problems of things. Um, they're not really solution oriented or they're not open to this process of what you find yourself in. And that's what gives me, it just gives a vibe of there's someone who they just like to go against everything. You know, they just like to go against everyone, you know, um, and to see it for what it is. So we're the energy said to see it for like the dichotomy of the balance of the opposites. So see it from their perspective of what may have got them into that place, right? And that would help you better get more in tune with your spiritual self is giving this vibe of you going through this process of coming into contact with people with different personalities and different energies because it's going to help you. It helps you gain the earthly knowledge, the earthly wisdom. Because you're walking into a space of your life at this time where truths and things being revealed to you that very few are either open to or willing to see, okay? And that's that high priestess energy in general. She's in the depths of the water and... When we think of water, the deeper it gets, the darker it gets, the darker of the energy, um, divine feminine energy. And not everyone can survive under that water. The deeper it goes, not everything can survive down there. Although there are creatures and fish and things of that nature that can survive and live down there, not every person can get down there. Not every vessel can survive down there, but you're in a space where you're built, you're being built with like this protection around you, the spiritual protection around you. Um, this is giving like three, three, three energy. It's like you have this vessel or this bubble around you. That's going to be allowing you to travel into different realms and spaces as well as underground within like the, the water energy. And when we think of water, we think of emotions and feelings. So you being um, gifted with the energy of how to um, how to tap into certain things that everyone does not have. I'm hearing the key card, the key code to be able to. So it's something that you're going through and whatever you run into with the difficulty that opposition was meant to be there to help you grow grandmother go a little further into this it's something about using opposition to help you grow because it helps you better understand other people and individuals and seeing that you know, not everyone is just like you. Not everyone thinks just like you. Everyone has a different process that they go through and the reasons for it. But there's a way for you to be able to understand it and not feel any ways about it. You just see it as what it is. You see it as what it is. All right, grandmother, given energy. Well, no, we're gonna go to this actually. What's an area of focus for your grandbaby? You have spiritual career. So something related to, and high priestess connects with spiritual career. So it could also be someone not agreeing, when we're talking about not agreeing with energy, of not agreeing with choices or 
what you're deciding to walk into or what you're deciding to walk away from. Um, of you getting to a place of understanding why that may be there. If your focus is on or your grandmother energy is saying to focus on the spiritual career aspect. That means you have to get aligned and clear on your purpose. Because usually on the journey and with the purple also, you know, that's crown chakra energy. And the crown chakra is always there. It just gets redeveloped as you gain new information and new knowledge. It starts to expand. So it feels like your grandmother is saying to focus on having a better understanding of these different personalities and how they think. Because as you have a, a deeper understanding of how they think, what is that outcome energy? That's the high priestess energy. You having wisdom and knowledge that others don't have because you take the step to embrace and look at it. You have the hangman at the bottom of the deck, feeling no ways, not taking things um, deeper personal, I guess you could say. Then you have the four of coins coming out, keeping some things to yourself. So with this keeping some things to yourself, and we're talking about the spiritual journey, spiritual process, not everyone is meant to be in alignment with that process or that journey. But have a better understanding, you know, of it. Grandmother, clarify this four of coins. Hangman is coming out again. Your journey is your journey. Allow the process to flow. Allow the process to flow with this hangman. And she's on the tightrope. And when you're in, on the tightrope energy, you're not you're not supposed to if you stress or struggle, you're going to fall. It's like when you're in that suspension, you have to allow yourself to just be. And so this is giving a vibe of not fighting something. Not fighting something, not trying to not trying to force something. Not trying to force what, grandmother? Grandmother energy for the collective. Try not to force what? You have parenting. And that when I with the parenting coming out, it gives a vibe of parents are like our first teachers, you know. So trying not to force to force a teaching on someone or not forcing, um, because even with parenting, a lot um it makes me think of the because I said so. Because I said so. Not forcing something because you said so. And letting it just flow. But then also forcing someone to understand where you're coming from. You should just be. To force what, grandmother? What else should your babies not force? Synchronicity. Everyone is not going to be synchronized. Everyone is not going to be in alignment. Everyone is not going to accept. Okay? Everyone is not going to accept. And with that, it's like, as she's saying, don't force it. It makes it easier for you to be able to keep what you need to keep to yourself in that private space. And then what you let out. But you don't have to force companionships. And this 87 and 78 is in reverse of each other. It's a mirror. You know, you're most likely a mirror to people. And not everyone is going to be able to accept that. 
everyone is not going to be able to see that that truth of you being a mirror of a reflection. And as I say that, it makes me think of with the high priestess where it was speaking of the opposites, right? So even those who don't agree with you and your space are a reflection of some sort as well on the spectrum. I'm going to read angel numbers 78 and 87 in my book. You can get a copy off of Amazon or you can um, get a PDF copy off my website. Angel number 78 carries a frequency of calculated risk. It connects the energy of a seven and eight to create a six. This angel number is appearing to tell you the importance of taking calculated risk for future gain that will benefit generations to come after you. You are in a space of preparation and order and that's the spiritual career energy. So calculated risk connects with this four of coins energy, knowing what to keep information wise and what to reveal. It gives a vibe of not letting everyone know your plan. So say this person who wants to go against no matter what, if you started going around telling people before the vote came, it will give them the chance to go and try to pull people onto their side and stuff like, yeah, then vote this way because it is like they know the argument to go against you. You get what I'm saying? So it's given a vibe of holding some of that to you. And this calculated risk also goes into the vibe of being calculated and understanding others. And how you deal with others, how you work with others. That's also with this parenting energy being calculated because you can't you can't parent every child the same. So you have to be calculated with how you parent each child. Let's get to card eight. I mean, angel number 87. Angel number 87 carries a frequency of unrecognizable gifts and blessings. It connects the energy of an eight and seven to create a six. This angel number is here to let you know that you have natural gifts that will help you get through an unknown situation. You will naturally be able to do it as if you had studied for years. It is instinctively inside of you. It is instinctively inside of you. Allow yourself to embrace it and connect with it. And when others need to know and it's time for them to need to know, then they'll know. Our last one, we had the parenting with 63. Angel number 63 carries the frequency of the end of a dark period. It connects the energy of a six and three to create a nine. This angel number is here to encourage you to keep going. You or someone else is close to the finish line of something that may have felt daunting or difficult to complete. Listen, you are right there. You are right there. You are right there. You are right there. And if you claim this energy from your grandmother, I want you to share it down below in the comments. I am right there. I am right there. You are. Just be smart with how you move, what you share, how you let it out, you know. Let's pull one energy in regards to self and internal reflection. Grandmother, give us one card for self and internal reflection. Ooh, the birdie birdies. The babies. I said today I saw this video on feeding squirrels. I want to put together now some squirrel um, nut gift bags. I feel like my birds is going to take it and eat it, though, because so many birds and, like, ducks and stuff come to visit me. They may not even let the dang on nuts make it, Okay. <laughs> all right give me one just one grandmother give me one card or two if that's what you want pool okay <laughs> baby that's what it was i was saying one and it was really two that had to come out so the first one, we have geranium with nurturing. The trigger statement, 
you may feel like you're all in your head. You're thinking too much about something. And that came out with the high priestess aspect of not being too stuck in your head. The true statement, I create with pleasure. Whatever you do, do it with joy. Take time to rest, and in that time, be open to creative pursuits. Surround yourself with things that please your senses and be gentle with yourself. Because what you eat, don't make them poop, okay? The next one, we have soften with the women's. The trigger statement, I take control. And then grandmother energy with the um, hangman said to let go of control. The true statement, I am compassionate. Take a moment and allow yourself to see things from your heart center. From that place, allow your intuition to guide you. Period. Period. From that place, allow your intuition to guide you. That is the energy of this grandmother message. It is my prayers, hopes, good energy that you all were able to obtain and get something from this um, that you may have been needing in this space. I thank you all for being here. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what your higher self and your spirit team is calling for you to do. I love you all and I'll see you all in the next ones, my loves. Bye.